You know, I, I'm a sales rep. Uh, I'm also a human being who tries to listen to other people uh, and what they're saying. And, you know, instead of just listening to hear things that I want to hear um, or, you know, hear and pick and choose things that, that they say that I actually, you know, want to believe and agree on. Um, you know, I think as a sales rep, it's pretty critical um, to be able to, to, to listen to your buyers, listen to people and what they're actually saying. Um, and so I've, I've run across this a lot on, on LinkedIn lately and I want to, uh, wanted to give them, get a message out there um, and really just try and help other sales reps um, and just people in general, right? I think the overall theme is, you know, listen to other people, uh, actually hear what they're saying um, and apply it. And, and, you know, I think that's a better way to go rather than picking and choosing what you want to hear. Um, but when it comes to, to sales reps and who you're trying to get to, in my case, IT buyers, um, you know, this can come in many forms. It can come in uh, text. It can come in, um, you know, the conversations you have over the phone, the meetings you have. Um, anytime you're interacting with somebody, uh, whether virtual or face-to-face, -face, listen to what they're saying. Uh, and the biggest issue I'm seeing right now in all of these threads and, you know, the comments that I'm, I'm seeing on LinkedIn um, are from a bunch of sales reps who, you know, still believe that, um, you know, calling is the number one tool to use or a very high priority for them, um, even though the, these IT buyers or, or any buyer um, – is literally commenting on these posts and saying, this is all noise. I don't know why you're continuing to call me. I don't like it when sales reps call. You're, you're tarnishing your brand. I'll probably never you know, reply to you. I delete all of these cold emails I get. Um, th these people are, are saying this to us, sales reps. Um, and yet these comments that come after the buyers themselves making those comments that the sales reps that go in and comment are still, you know, bringing up these points. Well, I, know, I think you still got to establish relationships over the phone. You know, you got to call people and, and that's how you build trust. True. But there's only, you know, you, you can't just pick up the phone and dial and expect to build a relationship that way in 2018 and beyond. You have to stand out in, in different ways. And I could, you know, name a few of these, um, you know, folks who are letting their voices be heard, these IT buyers who are letting their voices be heard on LinkedIn, but I'll let you guys, you know, find them uh, and, and who they are and read some of their stuff. Um, but the point that I wanted to make on this, this message is like, read those, read those comments that they're, you know, offering up to us and actually apply them. You know, I'm, I was on one last night, um, an IT engineer was, was saying this, um, an IT director at a large company uh, just commented on one this morning, and, and I'm just sitting there looking at these, looking at these comments uh, and replies from sales reps, and I'm, I'm mind blown. It's like, are are you not seeing what's right in front of you? Um, so that's my, you know, my mission is is to help uh, myself, help my fellow sales reps, and everybody. Just, you know, let's really try something very simple and and look at the comments that your buyers are. are uh, putting out on social media, whether it's LinkedIn or Twitter or elsewhere, and actually, you know, try and flip your script a little bit, change your strategy, actually listen to what they're saying instead of continuing to do what you want to do. That's all, I'm, uh, that's all I wanted to say. Feel free to comment on this. Let's engage a little bit, have some uh, healthy dialogue back and forth and, uh, and see where it goes. Thanks. Happy Saturday.